push. Roll back, push, elbow up, and So that's one of my favorite things, it's armbar defense, okay? So armbar defense is so easy, I totally don't understand why anybody would ever tap in an armbar. Let's check it out. So he's doing an armbar, right? I was too stupid, I extended my arm, boom. The thing is, I got a lot of time to close my hands, okay? Now my hands are closed. Now the real fight starts. He chose to do a good armbar, he's sitting down and now tries to solve the problem of my closed hands, okay? I chose a shovel grip. I'm not stupid enough to do a far side grip because if I would, he would just wrist lock me. He would just, ah, tap, just pull on my hand and it's not that easy like so, okay? And now I have plenty of time, okay? So we will do three escapes today, the three most basic ones. I keep my hands closed and first I'm gonna check if he has enough knee pressure and he doesn't, okay? Let's see this one again. It's so basic, it doesn't have the very best effect. Can I come to hand again? Okay, I got way, I got a lot of time. Do it slowly a bit, okay? Now I'm seeing him moving and I know Marmy's extended. So what he's gonna do? I know he's going for an armbar. So as soon as I feel him moving around like so, I'm boom, closing my hands. So all I need to do is close my hands in the same time frame that he uses to move his whole body from here all the way around to there. And, and if I can't do that, like uh, I should probably lay off the drugs or something. <laughs> so I will be able to close my hands. And now probably every teacher in the world emphasizes how you should close your knees. But still many people choose not to. Like right now you're closing the knees, but many people choose not to. So the first thing that we will check is if the knees are tight. So you just bring the feet close, bring the hands close, plant and open, boom. Just slam the leg over your head. And now I'm just gonna try to bring my elbow to his side and come up. And I know it's not an ideal position, I'm still in his guard, okay, given. But I'm not bottom out anymore and I'm not in the armbar anymore. Okay, I'm now in a way better position than I was before. Let's see this one again. So, it's so simple. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna totally extend my arm. And, oh, I'm gonna close the arm again. Okay, so, should not fall for the arm bar. Shovel grip, inside, push, elbow down, come up. Okay, number one escape. Now, if he's going for an arm bar again, boop. And this time his knees are tight and I'm trying to open and I cannot, okay? So now I'm gonna just roll him up and pull my arm out, just like that. Let's see how that goes because there's some important details to it. So, arm bar, boop. I can't open. Okay, so now I'll need to roll him on his own back. My hands are tight. Number one priority is to always have an angle in my elbow, to have my elbow bent, my biceps a bit activated, because he wants to overextend my elbow, right? So I need to have my elbow in a flexed position. Number one priority. As long as my elbow is flexed, I will not tap to an armbar. So I place my feet a bit away of him, to create an angle, a bit good, a bit to the outside on the ball of the foot. And now I'm gonna raise my hip, probably walk a bit more. And now I'm pushing that way with my chest. I'm bridging a bit and I'm pushing my elbow into his stomach to raise my chest and come up. Okay? Hands are still closed. Okay? And now I'm gonna roll, wrap him up like a, I, would, I wanted to say like a taco because it sounds good, <laughs> but probably like a sushi. I keep my knee very close to stop him from inverting, okay? Because that's what he would need to do. Yeah, he doesn't know what it is, that's not inverting, but never mind. <laughs> okay, just, just know that he needs, that I need to come here tight. 
I could wrap tighter and do an RNC grip, a figure four grip, okay? But now it's gonna be more difficult to free my elbow. So now the major mistake that people do when they try to pull out their arm, they're pulling like so. And he's just exploding his hip and ah, I'm tapping. And now it's just a, a game of who's doing it faster and that's stupid because probably he's faster than me. So I need to keep a bend in the elbow. And what I'm doing is I push down with the left shoulder, with the shoulder that is free, the shoulder of the free arm. Okay, I'm pushing to his head. I'm lifting his hip up, right? That movement, boop. And at the same time, I'm retracting my right shoulder, bop. Okay, now my elbow is on his groin guard, or if he doesn't wear a groin guard, it's somewhere he really doesn't like it. And then I'm gonna pass, whoop. Watch that detail again, because it's crucial. So, I'm still inside, because my elbow is on his belly. Here's the, the edge of the arm bar, okay? Right on his pubic bone. So as long as my elbow is on this side of the edge, I'm in. As soon as my elbow is on that side of the edge, he cannot finish the armbar. Even if, it, even if you feel that you cannot, because now my elbow is pushing inside, and now my elbow is pushing out and on the, it's like a, it's like a cliff. Okay, if I'm on top of the cliff, armbar happens. As soon as I'm over the cliff, I'm out. So I'm here, I'm pulling my hands tight, and I'm rolling my left shoulder down, my free shoulder down, and I'm retracting. And now look here, you, you see the downside of the cliff, right? Pop and push, sorry. <laughs> I push against his pubic bone because now, even with two arms, he cannot pull my arm in. Try to, like really try to, just make me feel real strong. <laughs> yeah, daddy, go for it. <laughs> um, because my elbow is in, I'm just too strong now, okay? And I'm trying to grab that leg and come here. And I'm passing, I'm probably gonna cradle him up. I like that one a lot, cradle him. Because now he feels the urge to extend that leg. You feel it? And that's gonna make me fall into Simon. Watch the movement, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it alone for a moment. So I'm like so, my arm is trapped. Free shoulder pushes down, trapped shoulder retracts. It's that movement. And you see, it's always, I'm not extending my arm. If I'm extending my arm, I'm risking falling for the arm bar. Pop, and up. Let's see this one again, before we go on for the third one. So arm bar, I'm like, oh, close the hands, so much time. Open doesn't, coming up. Hands closed, shoulder down, elbow up, and start passing, cradle, side mount, perfect. Okay? Now, there is a possibility that I cannot just bridge him that way. What? So I'm here, he's going for the armbar, right? Okay. Now there's several ways to continue if I cannot come up, okay? I can't, you, you see I can't, he's too heavy, he's too strong, he's whatever the problem is, okay? And now there's, there's like five or six more opportunities but the thing that we will now try is commence to the same end with a different middle part. So I'm trying to bridge and he's probably using your hand to block, like block, block, block behind your back. Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay, shit. Okay, now look what I need to do. Bridge over the top, boom. And he's still trying to finish the armbar. How are you gonna finish the armbar now? Yes. Okay, now we need to see it. Yeah, he's here, he's still in. Bring your head inside, bring your head inside. Still in the armbar, okay? If you let's go beforehand, it's too easy. But now we're in the same end as before. Watch it. So, armbar, boom! I cannot make him fall that way because he's too strong, he's too stable. So I make him fall that way. Pop! Okay, and now that he fell, either I'm rotating inside to come up or I'm jumping over. 
And now from here I got the same opportunities. Probably he's trying to finish the armbar, right? Okay, and I'm just pulling out the elbow and passing. Boop. Or even a little variation maybe. Would you like to see a little variation of that one? Okay, okay. Let's check it out. If he stays on his side, he doesn't want to come inside anymore. So I'm here. Boop. I make him fall and I'm here. And he's staying on his side, right? You see that? Now he could totally finish the armbar like this. Ouchie, okay? So I'm staying here. Now look what I do. I love this one because it looks so flashy and it's so easy. You can try to finish the armbar if you like. Ta-da! <laughs> it looks awesome and it's very easy. So practice it slowly at first, right? So I'm here. I still got the grip. I let go. And now I don't have too much time, but more than I think. Arm out. Now there's already some extension. Lift the head, bring the legs back, and it's flat. Don't try to roll. Belly flat, and just jump back, work with the leg, and inside with the head. Let's see this one again. It's awesome. Looks great. Totally worth it. To let you catch into the armbar to just try and make this awesome escape number three. Okay, practice for yourself, but make sure to practice under professional supervision and practice slowly and tap early. So that's three basic armbar escapes. Uh, it's a long video, sorry for that, but it's very worthwhile to watch the whole thing and to practice with your training partners. Uh, sometimes it's unavoidable to be caught in an armbar, but tapping out in an armbar is something that should rarely happen because there's so many opportunities to escape. Practice them. If there's any questions, just comment. I'm gonna gladly answer any question. Hope you like it. Hope it helps you with your Jiu Jitsu progress. And see you next time.